good evening students uh, as you know it very well on 14th of january 22 cbsc launched the much awaited sample papers of all the subjects for class 10th and 12th and these sample paper issued in reference to your term 2 examination which will be conducted in the month of march or april and students here i am coming up with the detailed analysis of the paper or i can say sample paper which is issued by cbse so let us check the detail one by one and uh, find it how we will see the difference or what are the main points of this paper before i proceed to the question paper i am taking the most fundamental part of the paper the structure of the question paper now if you see the structure of this question paper it's very very unique in terms of our uh term 2 preparation what he has given he has asked divide this whole paper in three sections the first is section a section b and section c you can see here section a it will consist of six short answer type question which will be known as sa1 and each question comprises of two marks and the main point of this section is you will not get any internal choice in this section now if i come to section 2 or i can say section b it will contain four short answer type questions each question is of three marks <clears throat> and the last section is section c here we get four long answer type questions with four marks and there is an internal choice in some of the question how many questions not described in the sample paper but as far as sample paper analysis i will tell you later ki in which questions you will get the internal choice and the most important part is question 14 will be case based questions or 14 question is of four marks and it will be divided into two sub parts which will consist of 2 plus 2 marks now if i come to the chapter wise and unit wise analysis you will see the calculus part in this calculus part the integral the most crucial part of our book one question for two marks one question for three marks and one question for four marks so this overall chapter will comprise of nine marks now in terms of application of derivative here is a uh, one unique question uh, which will consist of four marks only one question in the whole paper and in terms of differential equation you will get one marks of two uh, one question of two marks and one question of three marks means to say total five question now if i come to the vectors so you will get one question of two marks and one question of three marks this will also consist of five marks and the most marks chapter will be 3d one two marks one three marks and one four marks question total question total marks for three question is 
नाइन प्रॉबेबिलिटी हेयर यू विल गेट टू क्वेश्चन ऑफ टू मार्क्स एंड वन क्वेश्चन ऑफ फोर मार्क्स तो टोटल मार्क्स एट नाउ इफ यू एड एम एड दम अप यू विल गेट फोर्टी मार्क्स टेन क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम इंटरनल असेसमेंट and here comes the 50 marks this analysis is based upon the sample paper issued by cbsc on 14th of january 22 so this is the main point of the sample paper which is issued by cbsc now if you come to the analysis of the question paper or if you can see the question paper so you will find that this is the same sample paper issued by cbsc first question from integral differential equation a vector fourth question is of 3d and next two question of probability and you will find it there is no internal choice got my point here you cannot find no internal choice in section a as far the as the question paper concerned now if i come to section b so in section b you will get one internal choice and two internal choice that means here you have two internal choices in section c one question comes with internal choice and in case study as i said to you it will comprises of two questions ah uh, it will comprises of one question with two sub questions in it so these question are not in the form of mcq these are the question which you have to solve it now if we go through the syllabus of this term 2 you know it very well uh, this way these this is the syllabus which is already discussed with you ki which part is in your syllabus and which part is not in your syllabus but our today's concern is about the sample paper now if you see the internal choice which is the most crucial part you will get two internal choices in sa2 and one internal choice in sa 3 okay so if i define the whole question paper so 6 plus 4 plus 4 14 plus 3 internal choices the total question which will come in your paper will be 70 including internal uh, uh, internal choices but total question in the question paper be 40 and they will give you 40 marks in this